Uh, hi folks, this is uh, another problem from last uh, Tuesday that I didn't uh, manage to complete uh, or start actually. So what you see here is a, a base uh, shown here which is uh, uh, let's say hanging from the ceiling uh, through the end of these four cylindrical uh, supports. Uh, because of the shape of this object and the fact that it's square uh, and the loads uh, the load is applied symmetrically uh, on A, B, B, C, C, D, and A, D. Uh, all you need is one eighth of this model of, of the structure. Uh, it is obvious that one quarter of it is definitely uh, uh, can be modeled because of symmetry and the view is obvious. But there's also the fact that it's a square means that there's also a, a, a plane at 45 degrees is also. Uh, Planar symmetry. So one possibility is to create one eighth of the model, and the other one is to create the full model, and then uh, cut it, uh, cut it to different planes. That's exactly how I'm going to do that because you got to practice some of these things with uh, splitting the geometry. So uh, let's create a part uh, on a convenient plane on this horizontal plane. I will sketch uh, the shape that you've got there. So there's a big square here, and the uh, diameter or the uh, dimensions are, uh, uh, this is 10, and this is 10. So that's 10 inches, and this is 10 inches. All right, uh, I might as well do the cylinder here because I want to do, I want to do a multi-pad instead of a pad to uh, have you practice for a little bit uh, a little bit about these other the other functions in Katia. So from here to here, uh, that's 1.5, 1 1.5, 1 .5. and also from here to there, it's also 1.5. All right, uh, diameter, the size of this, uh, I'm going to assume diameter is 1. All right, so what I can do is use, sim use uh, mirror. I can use mirror here. Where is it? Right there. Mirror this with respect to that. And mirror circle with respect to this. And finally mirror that circle with respect to this. Exit. Now, I will do a multipad instead of a pad. So there's, five, as you can see, there are five closed circles here or uh, uh, curves here. This is the the big uh, rectangle. Uh, so I'm going to pad this thing by two inches. These are the circles. I'm going to pad them by four inches. Four. 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 And four. One, four. Okay, there we are. I could have uh, created this block and then on it draw that circle and then pad it, but I decided to do the multi pad to get you to practice some of the features. So here's another uh, another uh, square in the middle, five and five, based on the geometry uh, dimensions provided. So this is five inches. Same thing here. This is five. Exit and pocket. Uh, in the other direction, all the way to the end. Go to the next. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, I'm sorry. Undo. Let me see what I need to do. I want to make a pocket for. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Pocket. That sketch. That's what I wanted to do. All the way to the end. The last. There we are. Now, before I proceed, I'm going to save this thing. File, save management. Uh, where are we? This thing, save as. Uh, yeah, in that folder. It says it's going to uh, override it. That's okay. 
All right. Now, I'm going to start cutting this thing with uh, a plane uh, in this direction and a plane which is drawn at 45 degrees. Now, I do not have a plane at 45 degrees, so let me actually just create one. Here is one way of doing it. Uh, uh, now, I'm going to do it through three points. Uh, three points. So, a plane through this point, that point, and that point. That creates a plane at 45 degrees. There you can see that. All right, let's do, start uh, the cutting or splitting it here. Uh, where is the split? I think split is right here, right there, in this toolbar, which uh, actually, what does it say? What's the name of the toolbar? Uh, the name of the toolbar is uh, surface space features. So let's split. Well, we want to do it with that. And it doesn't matter which side we keep, like this. And then we want to split it with this plane. And you want to keep the other side. There. I could have created this model instead of uh, what you just did and then split it. But uh, that's how we're going to do this. So we say, all right. Uh, let's apply material to this thing. Where is material? Right there. We make it out of uh, steel. So, uh, steel on this part, and say OK, and then we're going to save it. Good. All right, so uh, we will now move to uh, analysis and simulation. OK, generative structure analysis. Uh, we accept the default size element that it's proposed. I, sh I can change the rendering here so that there's no material shading. So right click uh, on the nodes and element, mesh. There we are. This is the mesh. Once this is uh, on the screen, there is nothing we can say or do further. So I'm going to select, the, expand the, uh, the branch that says nodes and elements. Right click mesh visualization. I'm sorry, right click uh, deactivate the mesh. All right, the top of this uh, of this uh, uh, half a cylinder is clamped, and then planes of symmetry using surface slider. Surface slider is one of the restraints. Whenever you have symmetrical plane, you use surface slider for solid elements, of course. So this is a plane of symmetry, and this is a plane of symmetry. Now notice that I did not pick that top because this is all one surface. So this. Plane of symmetry. Oh, this surface right there also applies to that little piece on the top. We say OK. Now, uh, the, this this edge this edge is subjected to one eighth of 400 pounds. Because 400 pounds goes on the entire uh, on the entire four edges A, B, B, C, C, D, and uh, whatever the other one is. Uh, but we are we are we have only this edge showing up in our model. The other ones are not even created. So. Where is the force? Right here is the force on that edge in the downward direction. Downward is Z. So I'm going to uh, put it in the minus Z direction, minus, uh, uh, what did I say, 50? 50 LBF. And I noticed that because my units are not being set to, uh, to uh, pounds, this uh, type minus uh, 50 pounds, but it's going to get converted to. Uh, uh, to uh, a Newton, as you can see. You can go to Tools, Options, and change the force to uh, pound, but that's okay. Uh, now, uh, File, Save Management. Notice that the analysis file is immediately created. Save as. In this folder with the default name, I'm going to save that uh, analysis file. We're pretty much done. So let's go ahead and run it and uh, look at the results. So uh, there we are. Uh, you can ignore this warning message. It's talking about rotational uh, degrees of freedom, which doesn't apply to solid elements anyways. I'm not even sure why it gives it, but uh, anyway, there we are. So uh, let's look at the deformation. Uh, obviously, this is going to go down. And if you activate it, uh, if you animate it, where is the animation? Look at the strip of fill in the, uh, analysis tools. Here is the animation and this looks right I mean, you can see because of symmetry this vertical plane this vertical plane 
uh, stays a plane, and this uh, plane here also stays a plane. This is due to symmetry. Okay, and let's see now. Uh, you can look at the displacement uh, uh, again under uh, image. Is the image. Uh, this is the formation that we just saw. This is displacement in the form of arrows, but you can double click on the, these arrows to convert it to average ISO instead of symbol. And then change the rendering to material shading so that you can actually see the, you know, the color uh, contours or displacement, or displacement. Now, if you change the material shading to this last one, customize. And select the edges, uh, edges, uh, edges and point. You can also do the elements if it's uh, of interest to you. Uh, finally, one mesa stress. There's the one mesa stress. And, uh, you know, I'm not claiming, we are not claiming that these numbers are important uh, or are correct. Uh, we just did a process on, under which this is, uh, uh, this problem is modeled. Now keep in mind that uh, the mesh has to be changed. You have to do mesh conversion study to decide whether these numbers can be right. Oh yeah, I just realized something, something you forgot to do, and you can see that there's a problem. This face, this was also plain asymmetry that I completely ignored. And you can see actually that it's bent. So problem, this is wrong. I mean, it looks okay, but it's wrong. So to correct it, uh, we go and uh, and uh, deactivate this uh, last plot that we did and go to the low, uh, go to the symmetry, uh, go to the string, use a surface slider, double click. Also, this is a plane of symmetry. All right. You see, I completely forgot about this and I did not pick it up and I got the displacement. Uh, anyway, let's uh, run it one more time. Let's run it one more time. Ignore that. And now we can look at the one mesa stress, for example. All right, this remains a plane, this remains a plane, and this uh, plane, this thing at first, this cut at 45 degrees also remains a plane. Now, uh, totally ignoring actually the values here. So let, if I want to move this thing so that it can be seen better, you select the legend, see that? I put the cursor, select it, middle mouse button, drag it here. And if you want, by the way, we can make it smaller, larger by using the using the usual icon, either at the utility level down here or uh, uh, with a three mouse button. So if you left click again, uh, the object comes back. And uh, that's it, guys. So I hope this is